Sit down. That's what you I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Make sure to drop a sub and a like for the video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Neeks and I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and YouTuber. Today we're gonna to be covering how to use all the new features that are included with the new beta firmware update for the Rodecaster Pro. Um, basically, it's going to be features that uh, tribute to podcasters and live streamers. Um, the sound pads have a lot more controls now. Um, they are MIDI, M-I-D-I, and now you can switch between scenes and OBS. You can also uh, use the sound pads as like a swear button or a trash talk button, which kind of mutes out the audio, and I'll show you how that's different from using just a, a flatline beep. And then also, um, the new update also includes AISO drivers for Windows, including more st stability. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I plan on using the new update features for my setup. So the first thing you guys want to do is pay attention to all the links that I uh, attached down below in the description. Um, it's going to have the new firmware update and it's going to have a link to control your jingle pads uh, and use them as MIDI controls for Streamlabs OBS. So go to Rhodes website and click the button that says download firmware update 2.1.2. It's in beta right now. After that, follow the on-screen instructions and install it. Reset your Rodecaster Pro device and then make sure it's plugged in again. From there, we're gonna set up the first jingle pad and we're gonna use that as a swear button. All you have to do is click on the jingle pad that you wanna use as the swear button and customize it on the little dialog box on the device. And instead of you know choosing loop or another playback feature, you're gonna choose the one with the symbols, which indicates like a bad word. Um, that's pretty much all you have to do. The other thing that you can do to get a little bit more creative is um, skip the option that offers the sound to be replaced by their flat tone line and you could get creative and like use different tones or different um, sound effects. Next we're going to set up the trash talk button and it's pretty similar in setting up as the other one. All you have to do is click on the jingle pad that you want to customize and instead of picking loop or the swear button you're going to uh, tap on trash talk. What this is going to do is cut out all the audio coming from your mic and it won't output to the um, USB, the Bluetooth, or the smartphone connections. Next, we're setting up the Rodecaster Pro to use the jingle pads as shortcuts for your programs, including Street Labs, OBS, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, or any program that has keyboard shortcuts available. All you have to do is download the program MIDI to Keys, and it's in the description down below with the link. But download that, install it. From there, I'm gonna show you how to set up the program and uh, use customizable keys and keystrokes. So let's jump into that right now. I just opened Streamlabs OBS. You can do this in regular OBS or any program that accepts keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to set this up. Basically what you wanna focus on is, the main thing about this is you wanna jump into where you can uh, access shortcuts. So this could go for Photoshop, Premiere Pro, et cetera, et cetera as well. Go to your hotkeys and then um, you're gonna find your scenes. And in order to, cha to change scenes, you gotta uh, go into each scene. So I have starting for when I start my stream, I have a starting screen. I have my live screen or live scene that is basically my gameplay. And then I have a just chatting scene where it blows up my webcam. I wanna be able to use my keypads to switch scenes. So in order to do that, we have to set keyboard shortcuts to switch the scenes. So I'm gonna go into my live scene and you're gonna see all these different options if you have some sort of like uh, theme going for yourself, like donations and like widgets, et cetera, et cetera. But they're gonna be at the bottom of each list per scene. So if that makes sense. So I clicked on live scene and it's gonna be switch to scene. You wanna find that one, switch to scene. And for me, I I have mine set to alt, the alt key and the, the L key, but you can do, you know, control shift alt if you wanted to. You want to pick a keyboard shortcut combination 
that you will not use in any other program. So control alt shift is usually a good one because I don't think any program requires that. So um, I did L for live, but you could choose whatever you want. So you're gonna do that for each scene that you wanna switch scenes to using the uh, keypads or the jingle pads on your Rodecaster Pro. And I did that here as well. Switch to scene, alt J, pause, let's see. All P and then um, that's pretty much it. So after you set those shortcuts, you're gonna download uh, the program MIDI to keys. And again, that's in the description down below, the link to that. I'll open my window. Okay. So once you download this, it could look very confusing, but basically what you wanna do is um, do file new. When you download this, you're gonna do file new. And then I'm just gonna do test for this one, test. And you're gonna do MIDI device. You're gonna find Roadcaster Pro MIDI. And before you guys do this, make sure you go on the Roadcaster Pro itself and enable MIDI. Um, I think to do that, you're gonna click on the gear wheel, hit advanced, hit audio, operations, and then MIDI control. You're gonna turn that tab on. Then once you're back in the MIDI key to key, I've been saying MIDI to keys the whole time, sorry, but it's actually MIDI key to key you're going to do file new name that and you're going to uh, find your device roadcaster pro midi and then the only other thing you're going to do is check the box log to window and then you're going to uh, hit it's going to say start you're going to hit start and i forgot to mention something else for channel listeners you're going to hit one two three four five six seven and eight and those numbers refer to and reflect to um, the amount of jingle pads you have on your Roadcaster Pro. So there's a total of eight jingle pads and we're gonna uh, check box each of them up to eight. So after that, you hit start and the eight boxes are checked. You're going to assign each jingle pad. So I want to assign the first one for live. So I'm gonna hit it once. And then two lines of data are gonna pop up. The first line we can ignore the first line as in value zero, we can ignore that one. The second line, value one, two, seven, we want to edit that one. And then this box is gonna pop up. It's gonna be kind of confusing, but basically we want to fill in this box right here with the matching um, shortcut to the scene that we want to assign to the jingle pad. So I wanna do a live scene for the first uh, jingle pad. So I'm gonna go back to Streamlabs OBS, pull up the dialog box, find the hotkey, go to scenes, under scenes, you wanna click on the live scene or whichever scene you're trying to uh, match. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see switch to scene. So in this case, I did all L for uh, live scene. I'm gonna go back to keys to key, mini key to key. I'm gonna type in all L and then I'm going to hit save. Saved successfully. So we're gonna repeat this process for each jingle pad. So we're gonna hit the second jingle pad that we want to assign. And we're going to uh, click on the, the new line, which is the one that appears on the top. The new ones appear on the top. So whenever you press a button, it's gonna be appear on the top. And we're gonna edit the uh, value one, two, seven line again. And we're gonna do the pause screen. And uh, pause is right here and it's all P. We're gonna hit save. And it says it's already defined for me because I already set this up myself. But that's okay. And then we're gonna repeat the process until you finished all of them. So the way this works is if you close this program, the MIDI key to key, it's not gonna register as um, shortcuts for your Roadcaster Pro. So you have to leave this open at all times. You can minimize it, but you can't close it. So you wanna minimize it. And then I'm gonna show you how this works. And so that means like if you start your computer you are gonna have to open this program or you could have it open by default when you uh, start your computer. 
So basically we're going to come in here. I'm going to hit live and it's going to, it's supposed to hit, uh, switch to live screen. So we'll see. And it switches to live screen. I'm going to hit pause. It goes to pause. I'm going to hit just chat because I already set it up and it's just chat. And then I have, I made a button also to toggle my cam. So it toggles my cam. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back to live real quick. And then I have a button to toggle my game. It mutes and toggles my game. There you go. Then I made also a, I also made a button for muting and unmuting my mic. And then I also made a button for the sensor so I could cuss and say, Fuck. that's going to be it today. I wanted to keep this video very short and simple. Um, if you have any questions, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really does matter. And give this video a thumbs up if you found this useful. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.